Hello everyone, Happy New Year. Here's the story on Little Foxes by Lillian Hellman. First, you should know that this play is running alongside another play in a repertory we are calling Voices of America. Who are those voices? Well, the playwrights. And in this case, we are referring to the ahead of her time, but in many ways, just in time playwright that is Lillian Hellman. Her body of work of films, of plays are considered American classics. And we are honored to have a director with exceeding brilliance and expertise returning to South Coast Repertory. So The Little Foxes is a play that Lillian Hellman wrote about her own family. It's set in 1900 in the South. Uh, it features the Hubbard family. Now this is a family that is uh, building their fortune off the cotton trade. It's very much about ambition, about amassing wealth, about gaining power, and the ways in which families can climb on top of each other, can really kind of destroy each other in the making of those fortunes. All of the parts in The Little Foxes are wonderful, but the featured role is Regina. She's the, the, the sister of the Hubbard brothers, and she is as ambitious as they are, but she is a woman in a man's world, and so we watch her stay on top of the rock with her brothers. And the Little Foxes, Regina is the mother of Alexandra, the wife to Horace, and the sister to brothers Ben and Oscar. All of these titles in Alabama in 1900 leave her with limited options. She is denied an equal part of her family's inheritance, and so Regina's ability to make her own choices, to be independent, all rely on the men in her life. Now, when her brothers, Ben and Oscar, conceive of a plan that they believe will make them rich, investing in a cotton mill, Regina sees her opportunity, her opportunity to become something more, to be something beyond her friend Birdie who drinks away her sorrows and to set an example for her daughter. Now all the men in her life, her husband, her brothers, they deny her, they demean her, they devalue her. And so over the course of the play, we watch Regina go after everything she wants. She goes all out to stake her claim and to claim her own life. Now, as you can imagine, this play, this energy, it takes actors who are... Bold, first of all. Um, witty, uh, subtle when needed, and then really willing to go really out on a limb because this family is crazy sometimes. It's, a, it's important that the audience have some kind of a good time watching this crazy family, so the humor is important. And there are characters in this play that you have to feel for. It's a big cast, it's 10 actors. And so, yeah, we really need full-bodied, fearless. We can't wait to share this classic and beloved play with you. We've got a great director, a great cast, an extraordinary design team, and in Lillian Hellman, a playwright who... She's a radical writer. I mean, she was basically writing from a kind of Marxist perspective. And so I was thinking about how you know, a model for Lillian Hellman in my life is really the plays of George Bernard Shaw. I spent many years doing the plays of George Bernard Shaw, and I love his the way he sets his characters against each other. Very, very well articulated opinion going bang. So, so evenly matched that an audience can't always decide which side to be on. She does that too. That's what really draws me to her. I think she's a, it's, 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 it's not neat writing, it's muscular, messy, epic American writing. Lillian's work is playing right alongside another play, Appropriate. Whether you come and see both plays or just this one, we hope that you will come and see The Little Foxes, a play that might shock you, it might draw you in, it might occasionally disgust you about human behavior. I hope that it will make you um, think about your own family, uh, think about American history, think about what's, what, the, what are our values um, as you watch this family struggle with um, the balance between care and you know, the collision of ambition.